do not attempt to adjust your picture. Zombie is in control. And with that, I'd like to welcome you back to Hidden Agenda on the PlayStation 4. If you've checked out the last two videos, you'll know that you're in for a treat. Lots of intense story happening, and without further ado, thank you for joining me, and let's continue Hidden Agenda. State Park Cabin. Oh, 31 hours until Finn's execution. Make an entry. 125 acknowledged. Caution advised. So definitely some time has passed. I believe we were still in the 40s hours until execution in the last video. We've got some dust motes. This is the police. Anyone here? Come out with your hands up. P. Oh, are we going to have some weird tripwire or something? All right, what are we going to do? Do we have some options? <gasps> oh, dear God. Sir, can you hear me? It's going to be the killer. Oh, that freaked me out. I'm not going to lie. I don't know about you, but I just got like <laughs> crazy shivers down my back. I was not expecting that to happen. Becky Marnie, State Park Cabin. 29 hours hey, until execution. We got a problem. What? It does a cop. What? What happened? I was just trying to put that together. Call came in and there was a body. Responder showed up, body was rigged. Trapper style. Trapper style. Who is it? Police. Who? How? It's Who, how, what, why, when, where? What? No, that doesn't ha That's ridiculous. They're still sorting through the mess. Becky. Yeah. I would imagine that there would be definitely an enormous mess to clean up after that. That's too bad. I mean, it, definitely if you saw episode two. Excuse me, would you please stay clear of my working area? Um, you. listen, bro. From when we can piece together, it seems like Calvary brought a prostitute. Oh, God. Brought her back here where, uh, you know. Track her down? Only got a partial description. 20s, brunette. Great. Calvary put a whole clip in that wall and didn't hit one thing. Only blood here is his. And of some Montesinos. The responder? Calvary's body was rigged. Traps. <gasps> You said it. All right, here we go. Time to search for clues. That means we're going to have a timer. Good heavens. Wait. There's one clue. Oh, come on. Yep, there's another clue. Definitely my least favorite part of this game. Oh God. It's really awkward to really move your finger across your smartphone because it just does not move very fast on the screen. So if I seem like a total idiot, that's why. But we found a painting. Maybe there's something behind it. Oh my goodness. Is it a spy camera? Nothing useful. Don't creep up on me like that, man. You need to announce yourself with some breathing or something. Becky, I'm sorry, but I have to ask you this. Where were you last night? I, uh... I'm gonna get angry. What's your deal, bro? 
Do you really think I could do something like this? Listen to yourself. I'm not accusing you. <laughs> oh no, but it's the first thing that pops up in there. You can't blow up. You know what this looks like. Be smart. It's a frame up, see? <laughs> Angry. No. I'm just confused. I'm just a confused individual. This isn't happening. I wish it wasn't. I hated that fucker, but I would never do something like this. I believe you. You shouldn't have to believe me. I believe you, and that's why I'm taking you down to the station. Yeah, especially if you watched episode two of this series, you'll know that Calvary was... Oh! My goodness. Again? That's the end of part one. Check the logbook, fix yourself a drink, and hit the box when you're ready to move oh, on. Oh my goodness. Well, luckily I have a drink in my hand. Some tasty iced coffee. Becky arrested Finn and saved his hostage. Becky and her partner were promoted into homicide under Sergeant Riggs. Felicity took Finn's story to Judge Vanstone. She met him at the court that same day. Judge Vanstone refused to release Finn into police custody. So right now I'm going to guess we're going to jump into the other side of the story. Felicity invited Becky to her home to review the case files. Becky and Felicity went over the files together. Becky told Felicity about her feud with Calvary. And then Calvary got blown up! Becky disturbed a hidden camera at the crime scene. Becky didn't provide an alibi for the night of Calvary's murder. So that's cool. I'm guessing that's a little bit of a refresher just to kind of do a recap of end of chapter one, essentially. I'm honestly not sure how long this game is, but... I don't know, I'd guess maybe we're a third of the way, who knows. Part two. And now, part two of Hidden And Agenda. now, part two. Fasten your seatbelts. Oh, it's got that heavy rain seven vibe again. It's just a downpour. What's in the box? What's in the box? Hey, Simon, how you holding up? Homicide department. Hanging in there. 24 hours, one animation. day away yes. until Finn's execution. Okay, okay, guys, settle down. Listen up. Hey, listen up. We lost a cop today. Another one won't be returning to active duty. And it could have been even worse. I know it's going to be tough on all of us. No one here ever thought we'd see the day that Jack Calvary went down for the count. He, uh... Well, let's be blunt, he wasn't the kind to catch his flies with sugar. But he was one of us. And this atrocity cannot stand. I'm just suddenly reminded of the Big Lebowski. All right, um, let's see. You really think this is the Trapper? Or what's the latest on the witness? I honestly don't know if I'm feeling concerned or curious. Hmm. Let's be curious. Let's see if we've got any info to go on yet. Excuse me, Sergeant. What's the latest on the witness? The call girl? We got an APB out, and uh, one for this Adam Jones, too. We'll keep you a bit. Until we have reason to believe otherwise, we are treating this as a trapper copycat. It's entirely possible that Jonathan Finn is somehow pulling the strings from behind bars. We have District Attorney Felicity Graves here to help with the investigation. She is familiar with the Trapper's M.O. She's here to help. Please extend her every courtesy. Detective Marnie, I'm going to need you to look into Calvary's old Trapper case files. We're looking for links here, anything we could have missed. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah, sure. Got it. Okay, time to get moving. Just remember, Jack Calvary is watching from whatever shithole he ended up in. 
Let's do him proud. I'll drink to that, partner. Hi, Miss Graves. Felicity just acts I weird. Up. I don't know, like... Yeah, yeah. It's always tough losing a cop. It's tough losing one of the ranks. No matter how it goes down. But thank you for asking. Let you know if we find anything. Some gourmet coffee! Sweet! Do we have a problem? What? Do you really think that I have something to do with this? Becky, come on. Oh, no, Tom. You come on. Uh, will you move, please? This is random. It went from the, the coffee little scene with Felicity to this. Well, I'm not going to be annoyed, but yeah, we do have to be honest with each other. If you honestly have something to go on, let's hear it. I'm your partner. Other than a personal grudge be between us and honest. Calvary. Fine. Here's honest. Everybody knows about this beef between you and Calvary. Some of these guys, they don't think you're all there. You've got to start watching out for yourself. Tom, you're accusing me of murdering a fellow officer. You had motive. I'm just doing my job. Well, I don't like either of these options. I'm not going to threaten him because I don't think he's pushing us. He's just checking all the boxes. But I also think this is a lowball move, but I'm going to go with disappointed. You're my partner, Tom. How can I forget? We're supposed to be on the same side here. I'm not on your side because I'm your partner. I'm on your side because I'm your friend. And you got more around here than you realize. Why do you think Riggs put you on case review? He just wants me out of the way. Maybe. Or maybe he thinks you'll actually find something. And hopefully we do, if I can find enough clues at the crime scene. Adam Jones was definitely at Las Palmas, same time as Finn. Allegedly died in the fire that shut the place down. Now, according to Finn, Jones grew up to be the trapper, but how can that be possible? Doesn't make sense. Ooh, all right, it's the first time in the game that we've been presented with three choices. Let's be honest, I think one of the most disturbing parts of the game so far took place in, I believe, the very first episode with the Las Palmas Orphanage. A lot of creepy stuff. I think we need to investigate the orphanage further. If these killings are connected to the Las Palmas Orphanage, Father Rominski is at the center of it. It's just too bad that the rest of the clergy took a vow of silence the minute things started to get hairy for him. But Finn told Felicity that Rominski had some kind of secret room at the orphanage. Couldn't find any reference to this in the police records. I guess it's time for me to head over to Las Palmas and take another look. Let's do it. Totally. Las Palmas Orphanage, 1116. 22 hours until execution. Every precious hour counts now. I wonder if this, yeah, this place is pretty shady. Good thing we have our fancy go-go boots on. The one cool thing about this, I, I do regret a, a little bit of a lack of control over the game. Really all we can pick are certain decisions. But at the same time, I feel it's a lot more immersive. It really is like watching a movie and you're just kind of hanging onto your cell phone. <laughs> but, all right, what are we gonna find here? Throw it out, I'm interested. Ooh, cool. It's like the Babadook or something. Oh, 
my goodness. Hello? Hello? Seriously, Becky, come on. Oh man, it's that stressful part. Gotta find some clues. Yeah, right there. I totally don't think that the timer should move while we're waiting for the... Yeah, right there. Right there. See, I always find like a max of two because the timer keeps going while it's doing like the little graphic of the magnifying glass. <gasps> but maybe the loose panel will lead to the secret room. I honestly don't think that we're alone in this room. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Oh. Okay. <laughs> the weird sex dungeon. Oh, hello, lady. Of Father Ominsky. Looks like Father Ominsky was a regular customer. Whoa. <laughs> Repenting Nuns, Volume 4. Well, I'm just glad it wasn't some weird, like, kitty porn dungeon, Donnie Darko style, but... Creepy. <gasps> Chase him, Becky. Come on. Let's go. Yes. Essentially the same as a quick time button event. Yes. Dodge the bookcase, Becky. Yeah. Or just awkwardly pry it off of you. I guess that works. Yes. Freeze! Don't move! Stop! Damn it! Well, we are quite literally no, 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 on the wrong no. side of the tracks. Maybe it was just some punk kid screwing around. It is a weird abandoned building after all. And I think that is the perfect stopping point for the end of episode three. Let me know in the comments what you think of the game so far. I'm liking it. It definitely has a lot of cool branches. Like you get to interact with a lot of characters and it's not all just focused on one certain aspect. You know, you have a lot of different interwebbing relationships. So I'm really interested to see where the story goes and exactly how my choices affect the overall story. I'm interested to see at the end of the game if by chance it kind of does like a breakout, like, because you chose this, this happened. You know, maybe it will, maybe it won't, but either way, I think it would be fun to do a second playthrough and, you know, purposely choose different options just to see what you get. But thank you so much once again for tuning in and joining me, and definitely be sure to check back for episode four of Hidden Agenda, and I'll see you then.